Hi, for today's topic, I will teach you about operation of functions. But on this video, we will focus with division. So here is the rule in dividing functions. If you have the quotient of f over g, that would be f over g of x. That is also f of x over g of x. To find the quotient of two functions, you have to put the first one over the second. Let's have an example. On your first example, your numerator here would be g of a since we need to find g over h of a. So we put negative 3a squared minus a on the numerator and on the denominator it would be negative 2a minus 4. In here, we can factor out common factors. So this would be negative a outside the common factors of negative 3a squared and negative a including the sign. Then inside, what remained would be negative 3a squared divided by negative a, that's positive 3a. Plus, since this is negative and if we factored out negative sign, this would be plus 1 instead. On the denominator, we can factor out negative 2. So what remains inside would be a plus 2. So we can cancel out the negative sign. What remain would be a multiplied by 3a plus 1 over 2 multiplied by a plus 2. So this would be equal to, just distribute this again if you wanted to have the simplest form. But this one is accepted as an answer also. So this can be 3a squared plus a over 2a plus 4. As you can see, we just cancelled out the negative sign. On your next example, your numerator would be 4x plus 2 and the denominator is x squared plus 2x. So we can factor out 2 here. Common factors of 4x plus 2 is 2. So instead, this would be 2 times 2x plus 1 over so the common factors here would be x and this is x plus 2 as you can see we can no longer cancel out any common factors from them so meaning this is now your final answer since this is already prime but if in case that you will have common factors let's say we have here f of x. So let me give you another example. So let's have here for f of x is equal to 4x plus 2 and g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Oh, let me erase, erase that first. And we wanted to know g over f of x meaning to say this the g of x would be the numerator so this would be 2x plus 1 over 4x plus 2 so we factor this out so 2x plus 1 is already prime over the, fa the factors here would be 2 times 2x plus 1 as you can see you have common factors here which is 2x plus 1 this is one group so what you're going to do is to cancel this out so 2x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 is 1. This will not be 0. Instead, this would be 1. This would be 1. So 1 over 2 times 1 or simply 1 half. Okay, on your next example, we wanted to know f of negative 4 divided by g of negative 4 or simply f over g of negative 4. So first, we need to find out f of negative 4. So this would be negative 3 times negative 4 squared plus 3 times negative 4. So simplifying, this would be negative 3 times 16 minus 12. And that would be equal to negative 48. Yes, negative 48 minus 12. And that equals negative 60. That is for your f of negative 4. For g of negative 4, that is equal to 2 times negative 4 plus 5. So that equals negative 8 plus 5. 
and that is negative 3. So we wanted to know f over g of negative 4. So this will be negative 60 over negative 3. So negative divided by negative is positive. So this would be positive 20. Okay, next example. So h of 0 over g of 0. So this would be, uh, I will just uh, put it here. So you can see that we can also solve this even uh, not chunking. So this would be 2 times 0 minus 1 over 3 times 0 minus 5. So we cancel this out since it's uh, it's, neg it's 0 only. The negative over negative is positive. So this would be positive 1 over 5. If you want to chunk this out, so h of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 minus 1 g of 0 is equal to 3 times 0 minus 5. So this is simply negative 1. This is simply negative 5. So you will have the same answer. So h of g, h over g of 0 rather. So let me erase that so to avoid confusion. So h over g of 0, that would be negative 1 over negative 5. Negative over negative, that should be positive 1 fifth. Okay, next example. So f of 7. So let's get f of 7 first. So negative 2 times 7 minus 4. That is negative 14 minus 4 and simply negative 18. Next would be the value of g of 7. G of 7 would be 7 squared plus 3 or simply 42 plus 3 or 45. So we need to get F over G of 7 and that is negative 18 over 45. As you can see, both of them is divisible by 3. So we divide both numerator and denominator by 3 to get the simplest form. So this would be negative 6 over 45 divided by 3. That would be, so this is 1. And this is 5. So the answer would be negative 6 over 15. Or we can also, we can still uh, divide this by 3. So this would be equal to negative 2 over 5. Or uh, the shortest way would be negative 18 over 45. And both of them is divisible by 9. So negative 18 divided by 9 is negative 2. 45 divided by 9 is positive 5. So the answer would be negative 2 over 5. Okay, on this example, since we only need g over f of a, so g is 2a plus 5, and f is 3a plus 5. This is already prime, so this is the answer already. But if in case that, uh, let's say that you have g of a is equal to, uh, this is negative by the way, so negative 2a plus 5, but then your um, f of a is equal to, let's say this is 4a plus 10. So if we wanted to know f over g of a, so this would be 4a plus 10 over negative 2a plus 5. So we factor this out. We can factor out 2 here. What remains inside would be 2a plus 5 over negative 2a plus 5. This is one group. So we can cancel this out. But we have negative here. We can put it outside. So no negative there. So this would be 1. This would be 1 times negative 1. So 2 times 1 over negative 1 or simply negative 2. Additional examples. So first, 
example, f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. g of x is x minus 1. We wanted to know what is f of x over g of x. So this would be x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. If you still remember how to uh, factor out trinomial, so this is what you are going to do. So first, get the square root of the first term, which is x. Then look at the first, um, uh, look at the third term. So you need to think of a number wherein if you multiply it, it will have the same answer as negative, uh, is as positive 1. But if you add the factors, it should be negative 2. In this case, we can use negative 1 and negative 1. Since negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2, and negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So the factors would be x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 over x minus 1. Please do review uh, factoring trinomials. So we cancel this out. So this is 1, this is 1, not 0. So this would be x minus 1. And the last example, so g is x plus 3, so that's the numerator, over the denominator, x squared plus 5x plus 6. So x plus 3 is already prime. We need to factor out the trinomial. Think of the factors of 6, wherein if you add them up, it's 5. So that would be x plus 3 times x plus 2. As you can see in here, uh, if you multiply 3 times 2, that is 6. If you add 3 plus 2, that is 5. So, meaning to say that those are the factors. You can cancel out 3 here. So, this is 1. This is 1 also. So, your answer would be 1 over x plus 2. So that would be all for today's uh, topic, which is dividing functions. If you have any questions, you can leave it on the comment section. And if you want to have additional, you can also leave uh, your suggestions on the comment box. If you wanted to have more examples about dividing function, let me know. I will make another uh, video for that as a part two. So again, thanks for watching. That is our math minute for today. So don't forget to subscribe and please click the bell button so that you can be notified every time I upload videos. So once again, that is our math minute for today. See you again on the next video. God bless.